If you are positive, you will see opportunities instead of obstacles. Confucius. We have two choices when we look at life. We can either be optimistic, seeing the glass being half full, or we can see the glass is always half empty. It's all about your perspective and how you are looking into the world around you. Now my point is to stretch your mind to fully comprehend the true power of positivity and how it can change your life in so many ways. Not too many people remember what it was like being born into this world as a newborn baby or even how to, you came from the non-physical to becoming this fleshy life form. Your mind cannot comprehend this concept of where you came from. But this has everything to do with living a better life. Because let's face it, too many people are living life through their compulsive thinking mind instead of their heart. And this causes people to suffer. When you fully comprehend the science of your existence, how your mind works, and balance it with spiritual philosophies, you will better understand how you can live a better life how to change your mind to live with the power of positivity instead of being drained by all the negative energy vampires that are infecting our planet, that are slowly sucking the life out of you. Once this happens, you will free yourself from the chains of limiting beliefs and start waking up to a new world, a new future. When a newborn baby awakens into this realm, it is purely conscious being who hasn't been tainted by its outer faculties such as sight, taste, touch, and sound. A baby's mind has not formed into its beliefs of whether the world is good or bad, positive or negative. It just sees the world as it is, amazing, beautiful. It sees the beauty in the ripples a raindrop produces when it hits the puddle. The amazing color of a rainbow. It becomes mesmerized when seeing a butterfly, a hummingbird, a sparrow, and even a spider. A baby is a pure, positive being full of love, and they are yet to be filled full of hate, racism, power, greed, envy, or judgment. It doesn't gossip with the other babies or spread drama-filled negativity. It has yet to form any limiting beliefs into its mind on how the world should look. It just sees the beauty of everything as it is. Now it takes up to eight years for the subconscious mind to become formed, changing the child who once seen through the eyes of source to seeing through filters, barriers, and beliefs. The magic slowly dissipates as individuals transform into adults who are bound by time and responsibilities. Habitual patterns and compulsive thinking slowly creates tension, stress, and confusion. Over a long period of time, this develops into dis-ease. Too many people have been unconsciously wandering aimlessly through life, operating on autopilot, and missing out on all the glories that have been right in front of their face. The dreams that once filled their minds as a child have been pushed out by empowering influential people who are pulling their strings as if they are puppets. Let's face it, we were never taught how our mind works, the laws of nature or the universe, or the power that lies dormant within our own being. Because if we were, then we would become powerful, right? And then we would become uncontrollable. See, the people on the top of the food chain need a strong foundation laid to support their need for power and financial gains. Controlling your every movement by brainwashing you to believe you are limited, powerless. They cannot have everyone as a positive-minded free thinker, a free spirit, a dream-chasing living life warrior. Because then, who would worship these people? Who would do the backbreaking work? Let's face it, empowering people need chaos because this chaos creates cash flow. When you better understand the rules of the game of life, you will learn how to bend them towards your favor and break free from the chains of mediocrity. We all have been told how to live our lives, to go to college, get a good job, get married, just follow the rules and play it safe, right? But nobody told us to follow our hearts, to take chances, to chase our dreams. It is no wonder why there are so many lost souls around our planet. People are confused right now because they are trying to be somebody they are not. And this tug of war that is going on between their mind, their heart, and their spirit is causing resistance. And this leads to pain and suffering. Take a look around you. Life may seem like it's really bad. 
But when you learn to tear down these walls and these barriers that have filled your mind, you will start getting a glimpse of the light. You all were meant for greatness, but somehow you got stuck in a rut, continually repeating the same patterns day after day, week after week, and time is starting to speed up on you. Life feels like it's being sucked out of you because you are either living from the past or bound to how your future is going to look. But when you start living in the present moment, you start noticing that life isn't all bad. When this happens, you gain a new perspective. This is very powerful. There are two sides of everything in life. Call this science, philosophy, or spirituality. It doesn't really matter. You cannot have the good without the bad, light without the darkness, the power of positivity without negativity. There is no getting away from it. The problem is you stop seeing the good in life and have been conditioned to only focus on the bad. But when you wake up and start seeing through the eyes of Source, unfiltered, you will start feeling the power of positivity. You will start realigning with your soul's purpose in life. Instead of being filled full of fear, anger, negativity, judgmental thoughts, you will start following your heart and doing more of what you love. Now, this new vision of heading down a path of more positivity will not be easy. But through sheer determination and willpower, it can be done. When you start asking the right questions, you gain a sense of clarity. You all have created your identity on who you are or who you are supposed to be. But this is merely an illusion created by beliefs that have filled your mind by influential people and your environment. When you start questioning and contemplating on where your beliefs come from, you will realize that your identity has been made up. You can be anyone you want to be. The problem lies not outside you, but rather within your very own mind. It's time to find what your passions are, what your purpose in life is, why your habits, your patterns, and your compulsive behaviors are controlling you from living a better life. By doing this, you will start reigniting a spark within your very own being, giving you the fuel to change and become the best version of yourself. It's time to break free from the dark cloud of negativity and embrace the power of positivity. Rise up and take your life back.